welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Dr. Rajiv Shekhar. A researcher who completed his PhD within a year, that too in Cambridge University, with handful of publication in the leading international journal. Can you believe this? Yeah, I'm not telling story, it's real, it's real information. This is none other than Mr. Amartya Sen, a Nobel laureate, a great economist in the world, who hailed from India, who applied PhD in Cambridge University, the University of Cambridge. He got, he joined in 1953, uh, 1953 around 1954. Within a year, he had the entire chapters ready with his hand. He approached his guide. They gave some corrections and he uploaded. Almost the committee has everything is done and he has completed his entire thesis within a year. I read from his book, Mamaya, uh, uh, latest some of one of my friends shared in the Facebook. I've read. Is it possible that to in the, the, the greatest universities of the world that came to Cambridge, the University of Cambridge, he completed within a year at the time he was then he was just 23 and another surprising element he completed the entire work he presented to the doctoral committee they also approved but they have told that your work is over but you cannot submit uh, to the PhD now because they had to the university regulation no they told that he had to wait for two more years so what he would do for two more years there because already he had completed the work and gave permission for him to go, go back to India you know, to do his uh, the empirical research in, in India. Then he got an invitation from the Jadavpur University, uh, present in Kolkata. They started a Jadavpur University and they invited Amartya Sen to set up the Department of Economics there. He came back to India. Then he set up the Department of Econ Economics at the time. He was the youngest professor no, to head the department, all the other fellow department or uh, well-established great professors with a great experience. But whereas he was just 23, it was it, it invited a lot of uh, controversy and other things also. But still, he was able to establish the department and he completed this work. Then he went back to Cambridge and again later he would he would win one more fellowship from Trinity also. How it is possible? Sir, these are happened. These things happen only, you know, rare cases. Only very few people will do that. They are the stalwart. They are the great, uh, knowledgeable people. Would it be possible for a normal uh, researchers? Yes. Why not? To leave that uh, competing within one year, but take a lot of examples even in your own area, and probably in your institution or in your known uh, vicinity. There are people they complete within the stipulated time. If it is three years, they'll cover. They would complete within three years. How it is possible? The number is very less. Actually, the number will be very less. I know that. But still, there are people completing the PhD within that stipulated time. They have a sufficient publication and everything. They do it. How it is possible? Somebody used to say that sir, it is because of luck. They did everything like how it is possible to do a PhD with the luck? Absolutely. These are rubbish statement. Don't ever and never make that somebody completed PhD because of luck. See, there may be a certain phenomena it cannot be bring down into the probability that may be there, but only because of the luck, nobody can complete PhD in, in what do you call in, in, in the entire world. So now let us see in general, what do they do? How, what made Amartya Sen to complete his PhD, you no know, entire recitation within one year. See, normally if you take whether it is Amartya Sen or any no, or normal person who over completed within the stipulated time, they will have a that's what the Stephen Covey has written a book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. In that, the seven habits, one habit is begin the end, begin, begin with the end in the mind. The statement goes, the one habit says, begin with the end in the mind. Yeah, the people, those who are competing biggest early, definitely they'll begin with the end in their mind. That means they know clearly what they are supposed to do for the, all the years. For example, if it is three years, they'll have a complete plan. And they know that they'll work on uh, consistently without any, uh, what do you call, un without any deviation. That's the number one thing. So, so the second thing, do you have a broad picture uh, before you join PhD? You see, a lot of people, they join PhD, then only they'll come to know what is the research process, what is the research question, what are the field they need to select. They'll, they'll start working after that. 
but whereas those who are completing on time and before even they join bhst they will work a lot of they they'll do a lot of homework they do you know all before they join the bhst they know that they'll collect all the information they'll read and they'll be ready to conduct the research quickly as soon as they they enter into it, they get the admission so they'll be pre preparation would be very uh, systematic for them so once they are completely ready with all those stuff they had established their idea their research question objective research methodology everything would be ready so after that they would apply to a university and they would join the moment they would join they know very well that all the process they know clearly so they would understand they they would make the guy to understand what they are going to do that thing and the guide also obviously when he has a clarity they would allow him allow them allow these people and they would start they would they be able to complete within time so begin the begin with the end in the mind then you have a broad picture that is a broad picture you have in your mind because only why people normally they de delay because because of uh, what you call lack of awareness they don't know the basic process of research process they don't know the research design they don't know the research methodology and all these thing they need to learn after joining the pgst means obviously to take time but we assume that somebody who knows it everything very well and he learns it everything right from his or uh, start from graduation post graduation he had complete idea then there won't be any problem for him to complete within the time because they know the process already that's why in case we take in humanities research uh, normally before this new education policy you know mphil degree used to be there so whatever they do in mphil simply they extend in the pst they would be able to complete within 2 years and similarly for engineering pst whatever they do in mtech and they'll be do a one portion of work in the mtech then they would extend the rest of the thing in the pst they would be able to complete because they know already the methodology everything only the extension they need to broad the perspective that's it they need to broaden their uh, study that's it that is possible so one thing is if you want to quickly be complete your pgst in case if you have already joined nothing this thing will not be workable to you but you are a pg student and you can take this particular thing and have a complete idea before you join pgst try to work out your try to identify your area broad area then narrow down identify the methodology and everything talk to the people get idea then that will be possible so through this particular approach pre preparation you will have a broad picture then you can begin with the end in the mind so that obviously you know what clearly what will be the end and another thing uh, some people you know they 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 there will be a prodigy you know a child prodigy kind of people you know they have complete you know very very effective people they 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 read quickly they write quickly and they'll be able to do that thing there are exceptional cases don't worry about so i'm not talking about such except, exceptional cases i'm talking about very normal quite normal usual people they also can do it even you are a very normal person you can do it within 3 years only thing is whether you have already done the pre preparatory work before you join the pgst you know the process clearly are you a person asking the guy to give the topic then you can definitely it will take some time but you are a person you are going there with the three more two to three topics and when you when you say something to the guide guide gives some idea then you say that okay let's i'll take the next one and if you have such kind of clarity then nobody can stop you on to complete your pgst within a time so this is one and second thing these people and they will be completely devote themselves into the pgst they never think about anything else they don't know what is entertainment they don't know about even family nothing they they'll 100% 24 into 7 into 365 they'll be working on that particular thing project pgst so when they are with the such kind of unwavering focus towards their pgst and they are uh, and, and assume that they are already have a complete clarity with the such a kind of a great hard work in a consistent way and it will help them to complete quickly so they'll not spend time anything to the normal entertainment if you look at them somebody they may call them as mad somebody they may call them as they are eccentric they are not at all coming to do other other works they will always study keep studying it see it may not work out for everybody somebody really will become mad with when they work like that i don't advise that but somebody who is completely clearly focused crystal clear focus they have then they don't require any any other entertainment simply they know that they'll what at the one stretch they'll do the complete thing they'll kick it off you know they'll complete and they throw it away then they'll do the next work so if you have such kind of personality you can do that thing for a normal person first thing try to identify the where you are deviating please remove all the deviation complete focus you can't spend time for the normal person like going for the other outing entertainment other thing 
see for a, if you do you don't mind spending one more year to do all this thing but you don't want to spend one more year you want to complete within that two years or a three years you have to sacrifice this thing without sacrifice nobody can complete within a stipulated time because sacrifices are very essential you cannot enjoy like other people simply if you compare with yourself to other people those who are enjoying the thing then you can't do it but if you spend time in a such a way that you don't enjoy anything just simply you are completely focused you know you don't worry about anything else and you can enjoy after completing your pgst when you after completion of pgst these people will be struggling there you know those who are uh, traveling with you those who are enjoying throughout the time they'll be struggling now but by this time you could have completed now you can enjoy so this there is a two type of enjoyment during the pgst enjoy and uh, elongate the time and uh, do it for maybe 3 year pgst to 5 years 6 years whereas you sacrifice your enjoyment and entertainment for 2 years or 3 years you want the one stage you complete your pgst after 3 years you can thoroughly enjoy your life this is the way you need to do that thing and one more thing what other people do that absolutely they have even when i was reading about amartya sen how he has set up his you know department of economics in at the age of 23 he had a wide connection uh, throughout the world as he you know studied in came the came the university of cambridge he had a wide connection he had the people you know wherever whenever he wants to have some clarity he used to write to the other people they would be uh, suggest him that's what if you decode this thing it is called networking those who are completing the pgst will have a strong network with their field that is they know all the major experts and they'll be having a good contact with those who are really knowledgeable in those field the strong networking skill is another secret to complete your pgst network means see how can i establish a network because if you do a real work when you publish with a quality journal obviously with the, 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 when they read your paper when you in case you have published one paper in a high pack packed journal obviously you will come to know that if it is edited by a great professor of the world then he will know about you that because you have written the paper by quoting that paper when you write a mail to him then you you need some other clarity he would be very happy to help you so this is how you need to establish that you know you have to create a network with a strong great minds in your field that will help you a lot for that uh, you are a normal person what you can do the first thing do some hard work do prove that you are a knowledgeable in, in a person in this field then you write to somebody every day you can write mails to all the top notch people of the world just write a mail that you are doing work on this particular field you have already published this paper in a, in a so called good journal you quote that then you write to them that, that you you are interested to work with them in a collaborative way they will you they would love to collaborate with you because based on the, your quality of work so you do this thing when you have this kind of thing you will be able to complete you know, within a stipulated time it may be what you call a, a kind of myth but if you try if you really work hard with the pre preparatory technique and beginning uh, with the end in the mind and the, having the broad picture and uh, saying babai data babai to the entertainment for some time and uh, having unwavering focus you can at any point of time at any any point of you know place you are working in any university you are in you will be able to complete within a uh, stipulated time it is possible and trust me you can do that thing because i have seen a lot of people even my own scholar they completed within time i have seen my other fellow colleagues and other people have done this thing the one common thing i have seen that they have never they have they'll be completely focused they never uh, give space for the unnecessary work during the phd they'll be completely focused the moment you say something they'll complete and come because whatever the guide says they they'll they'll work beyond the expectation of the guide so when you have such kind of quality nobody can stop you and you know very well that have to do the things and if you do that you can complete pgst so quickly this is the in general those who are completing pgst quickly they are if you go and analyze in case you don't believe me you go and take one person as a case study you analyze all the whatever i have told either everything you will find from him otherwise one or two things will be there you will you'll find whatever i have told in this particular video and if you can follow any of this thing you also can complete pgst quickly and you will be able to be there as the person that you got you you completed pgst in, in a quick short span of time got it and make yourself it if it is useful and share it to your friends and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye